Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on this really powerful concept. You may have heard of it before, you may have not, but it's for those people who have never heard about this before. And that is this, it's not lose weight to get healthy, it's get healthy to lose the weight. So let's just look at this for a second because it's a very powerful but simple concept. Um, if you focus on losing weight first and not the health part, you may or may not end up healthy. But healthy people don't actually gain weight. If you're truly healthy, you're not going to be overweight in the first place. Okay? And what I mean by health is no cravings, no hunger between the meals. You can go a long period of time without being hungry or irritable or edgy or emotional. Increased stress tolerance. You can tolerate a lot of screaming kids in a room for over eight hours working at the daycare center. Uh, increased quality of sleep. Uh, increase endurance and energy, mental, cognitive function, focus, concentration, great skin, good digestion. These are all indicators of health. But here's the thing. If you focus on getting healthy first, you may or may not lose weight initially. And the reason why this is valuable to kind of get people to understand this is because if a person does the program for one or two weeks and they don't lose and they think it's not working, but they have improvements in these things right here and even their waist is shrinking, they would probably give up thinking it's not working when it was working. It just takes some time for the weight to, to actually come off. And this really relates to women going through menopause because a lot of times they end up with atrophy. That's a loss of muscle. Like they just don't have nearly the, the amount of muscle in their body anymore. And so it's flabby and they think it's just fat. No, it's actually a loss of muscle. It's called atrophy. So that has to heal. That takes some time. And as it heals, that muscle is going to be heavier than the fat per the same volume. And so you may not see any change in weight loss, but you're going to see change in how you feel and these indicators right here. So it's an important concept to really focus on its health first, then the weight loss. Okay. And I came up with this in about, I think year 2000, it might've been 1999, but I had a patient come in 23 year old female that was majorly overweight, like 325 pounds. So I put her on a program and the first month she lost zero weight. I was really upset. She was okay with it. And I, as I was talking to her, I remember her telling me, oh my gosh, I just feel so much better. My skin's better, my clothes are fitting, but I'm not losing any weight. But she was still happy with it. I was not happy. And then in the second month, she lost 21 pounds. By the third month, she was down 63 pounds. And it was at that time I had this huge realization. People have to get healthy first, then lose the weight. And a lot of times that you'll go to your doctor and they says, oh yeah, you're healthy. You just need to lose weight, right? Because they did a blood test, cholesterol, everything comes out normal. And a lot of times these hormonal imbalances will not show up until the advanced stages, especially when you get into adrenal function. And also they never check insulin, a fasting insulin test. There's a test called HOMA IR, H-O-M-A dash IR. That's the one that you should get. That measures uh, fasting insulin. You can have normal glucose, normal cholesterol and have high insulin and that is abnormal. Another good test to um, evaluate would be the CAC which is called coronary artery calcium scoring. That's a good one to uh, see how healthy you are internally with your, in your coronary artery to see if it's calcified or not. So you're going to be much better off if you use this concept, this principle. It's really simple. Focus on the health first. The weight loss will come off as a byproduct of getting healthy. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.